Hi guys, Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm in Gotland, Sweden, checking out yet another Audi concept car. So this will be the fourth one that I've seen. In the future, because these are all concept cars, none of these are coming out, and they're envisioning what mobility will look like coming up, and it's gonna be about getting the car that fits your exact need. And something like this, this is for going on serious adventures. So if we check out what's happening around the side, there are some really big tires here. Now I'm gonna to talk to someone from Audi who's gonna explain exactly how futuristic these are. Hey, so tell me what's going on with these wheels. These wheels are something special. It's not the tire and the alloy itself. It's a whole concept. It's a combination of a whole wheel. And we combined, combined the, the suspension and the wheel together. So the car recognizes the underground where it's driving and it's continuously communicating with the pressure in the wheel. So which means when you drive on very good road conditions, the wheel is very, very pressurized and stiff. So you have good driving dynamics. But if you go off-road and in an off-track in a, a loose underground, it recognizes the underground, it lowers the pressure and you have kind of a suspension in the wheel, you see the big volume. So right. it's reducing by 60 mil and the rest makes the Max Ferson suspension. So it's a very smooth and soft ride for nature. So now the next thing that you notice after the tire is this giant glass cabin. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so this is what pops in your eyes is the wheels and then you see the massive, massive glass cabin. But the belt line is very low and you have a large, large, large environment. So when you sit inside, you, have to, you, you literally melt with the nature. So now I did get this right. This is aimed at the urban dweller, the suburban and urban dweller, because this looks like it belongs in Africa. No. <laughs> well, it can be drive as well in Africa, but the idea is really for a weekend trip or something out of the city. So you book the car on demand. So you book it for a certain purpose and you drive with the car going into the outback. So when we look at the front of this car, it screams future. It has this giant glass bonnet that I do not know how to open. So Roman's going to come on over here and help me kind of open this up. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good. So I mean, as you can see on this car, there's a very special feature. It's a completely transparent single frame. So you can actually look from the outside to the inside, obviously. So you can actually see the ground in front of you. So it gives you a very special uh, view, but it has another feature to it. You can actually open it. Wow. And put your luggage inside. Now these are the headlights? Not quite. But They're the day running lights. Exactly. So what appears to be the light yeah. is actually not. So this is only the day running light. And the actual light you find in the drones that are on the roof rack. Wait, in, in the what? In the roof rack. In the drones? In the drones. In the drones. So those are actually drones on top of Those are actually five drones. So you need at least two to drive together or uh, to, to fly together or five. The idea was on this car that they basically follow you while you're driving and illuminate your path. This is very future. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I'm going to head inside the car. Hey, Alex. Hey, hello. Well, so this looks like this car is being driven by a Samsung smartphone. <laughs> So the whole idea of that car was to reconnect the user with the nature. Yeah, when you That's talk sad. about focusing on the main things, what's necessary or not. So now, is this, is this an autonomous drive vehicle? Um, it could be possible, of course. Yeah, it's a level four vehicle. Yeah. But the concept of this one would be more that you're enjoying the driving experience. Yes, of course. Because of the big yeah. tires. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. One detail, which is my personal favorite, if you took a look in the rear, we have to Suspended flexible seat. seats, it's like a hammock, so if you don't need them, you can remove them. So it's very much like a dune buggy kind of feeling. Yeah. If you want to use them outside, you can do it. You can use them as a swing on the tree. All right, thank you so very much for walking me through the interior. Yeah, you're welcome. So this has been another Audi concept car. I have a whole series, so be sure to check out the playlist below if you want to see the other concept cars from Audi. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks here in Gotland, Sweden.